joint meeting is over 100 years old and it's owned by 11 municipalities in Essendon Union Counties and we treat the waste for about 500,000 people. We serve a big population in this area. Um, our job is to uh, maintain infrastructure to keep the environment secure, treat water, keep the, uh, the service to the population. In the mid-2000s, we were having issues with the reliability of the utility power that was serving the facility. And the regulatory agencies were about to impose heavy fines and require that we install a very large standby generator. We were not comfortable with that. We elected to go the other way and make the public utility our standby power and uh, the cogen system as our major supply. The, uh, the equipment came online in September of uh, 2009 and uh, the uptime is very good. Cat engines that were supplied to us are a dual fuel engine, uh, natural gas and digester gas. The Cat G35s are uh, very, very reliable uh, equipment. The sizing of the, of the cogen system had to be able to power up our treatment plant. So we had multiple motors for mixing, we had large motors for pumping, we have uh, large pumps for return activated sludge. So we needed the ability to power all those things. Joint Meetings team of engineers reached out to us and tasked us to find an optimal solution for them. And that's where we came uh, to the decision that the G3516 engines uh, at 800 kW would be the best case for them from a perspective of efficiency, robustness and serviceability over the long period. They needed engines that ran on digester gas, but that would also be flexible to run on natural gas, but yet have low emissions. Superstorm Sandy, when it hit us uh, in October, that Monday night on the 29th, we experienced a storm surge that was at least 10 feet over normal. Before the water came in, we had anticipated some problems, so we elected to use natural gas for as long as it was available and then switch over to methane gas from our digesters in the event that that happened. That enabled us to stay online from about midnight on October 29th, a Monday, until mid-afternoon Friday, five days later. We stayed online and met every uh, permit requirement for our facility. Our facility, because of the cogeneration, continued to run. Without the cogeneration uh, facility provided by Foley, we would not be able to do that. When everyone else was dark, we were, we were light. We had power, we had energy, we had pumps. We were able to do the jobs that others weren't able to do uh, when the storms hit. 